Welcome aspiring data scientists and welcome future Python programmers. Today we have the second class about functions and methods. This time we focus more on the methods. In the previous class, we focused on functions and Pythons, the ones we have learned so far, and then also how we can, can learn new ones through applying the help function. And in the end, we did a couple of different use cases for learning more functions. The key topics of today are to do the same with methods in Python, to learn some more use cases of, of those methods, and in the end to make a little recap and see what are actually the differences between functions and methods. So methods are functions that are linked to types of objects. So methods are quite similar to functions. They are pre-coded and built in into Python. The only big difference is that functions can stand alone, but methods always have to be linked to an object. And an object can be a string, it can be a float, a list, or whatever else kinds of objects you have. If we go now into a practical example, we can see here that we applied our append method to the object list in this case it's called names list and first time we added new name and at the second time we add a four so both times we actually linked our append method to our list and actually also changed the content of the list often a method can actually change the content of an object and that often indicates you that you're using a method and here on the right example um, this looks maybe a little bit complicated for now and we actually also don't focus that much on object um, oriented programming in python but here you can see a lot of different methods are used and they're always called on an object let's have another little example to visualize the whole process we can see here on the right side we have a list with five different elements and then we applied a bunch of different functions for example, the len function and also the count function. Now, if we search for the type, we can see that it's um, L is obviously a list and the other one is built in function or method. Now here, the focus is that we wrote L dot count. So we actually linked our method to um, an object. And if we don't do it, like we do it here right now, then we can see that Python does not understand what count means. So Python really understands methods if they are linked to an object. If they stand alone, Python will not understand this language. The help function is also quite useful because you can just use the help function and apply it to the different objects we have. For example, here we do it with lists and the output will be a huge list of the different methods that you can actually apply to lists. So you could also do that with help floats or help integers to always find out what kind of methods you actually have for each different object or data type. So as a little example, you probably can still remember this one. It is the append method. So again, we have our list of variable or data. Um, then we apply the dot append method. First time we add sun, the second time we, we add 80. And in the end, we can see that our new list has two new entries or two new elements because we changed the list, we changed the op, uh, object through the usage of the append method and we generated two new elements within our list. Two other very useful methods is the index method and the count method. Imagine you know the content of an element in your list, but you don't know or you don't want to calculate yourself the index number of that element. So you can easily apply the dot index method to your list and search for the element in this case mother to find out the uh, index number of our element. So in this case, mother has the index number of two. If you want to find out how often a certain element is representative within a list, you can call the dot count method. And in this case, we want to find out how often is baby in our list. And we can see it is one time, which is of course correct. There are also methods that you can apply to strings. 
So here in our example, we have the capitalize method and the replace method. And they obviously only make sense if we apply them to a string because you cannot really capitalize um, uh, an integer or a float. So here we have our variable my baby with a string Jasper, and then we apply our capitalize method onto our var variable, and the result or the output will be Jasper only capitalized. So with capitalize, you can capitalize the first letter, obviously. Replace method is also straightforward. First, you apply it to the variable, and then in those brackets over here, you define which letter has to be changed for what letter. So in this case, we change, change J and substitute it with C to get Casper. Let's make a little recap of functions. First, the definition. A function is a sequence of statements that executes in a certain order given a name. They let us implement code reusab reusability when we talk about Python functions. We talk about built-in and user-defined functions. So in short, functions are predefined and pre-coded and built-in into Python. For example, the land function or the type function. Then we have user-defined functions. And the use case behind this that you can write your own function and reuse it later. So here we can say Python, okay, we want to define a function, we give it a name, and then we give it actually content. But that is not that important for now, just that you have seen your first user-defined function. Methods on the other side are like functions. The only huge difference is that they're always attached to an object. So in short, can, uh, we can say, method is always called on an object and very often a method actually modifies that object. So we can see here on the right hand side there's a dot so we modify our object and here the same case. So methods will become very important in object oriented and pro programming but this is at least for us now not very important. The learning goals that we have achieved in this part are learning more about functions and methods, how we can apply the help functions, and just overall different use cases of different functions, methods, and in the end, a little recap of the differences between functions and methods. Congratulations, you have finished another Python video. Please don't forget to make the Jupyter Notebook assignments, and we are looking forward to see you in the next video. Goodbye.